Greetings, Warriors of the Ring. My name is Strider656, and I'm thrilled to welcome you back to another World Tournament game uh, from the 2022 World Tournament, which I played almost a year ago. And like I said in my other video, um, I didn't do too well, but I'm not going to tell you which games I won or lost. We're just going to review these games uh, from a fresher perspective. I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking uh, and then also cringing at myself. So I hope you enjoy this series, and here we go. So this is my second game against Cavaliero, and I had won my first. So I'm hoping I'm playing Shadow. I should win this one because Shadow is favored. Uh, so I draw into Shadow's got the Ring Razor Bright. Let's see what I do. Those are great starting cards. Uh, I decide no eyes, and I roll one. This is great. He has also has a fantastic start, too. I say nice starting roll. Lots of options. He says, I'll take it. He passes. Probably going to bring Isengard down. And I shouldn't do the other Isengard until the end. But we'll see what I do. Oh, what am I doing here? Typical movements. I don't normally do the Nern move up. So my old self did, though. Miss a Fellowship. Missed. I move up towards the dew line, potentially. Move the elves down. Oh, that's super illegal. All right, so I go a different direction. So I bring them all up. And uh, now that I play now, this is really dumb to bring these two forces both up. I think one orc would have been just fine. Uh, because that I should reserve that other force for Lorien. That's what I'm thinking now. All right. Uh, I move the, he moves the fellowship. I miss. Like, what am I thinking? So I just draw into orcs multiply again. So I just wasted my action to move my, my troops from Dol Guldur up. Okay. He moves the elves down again. And I bring Saruman in. Okay. I draw into candles and rage with the Dundinlings. Uh, Fellowship is good. I do one eye. Roll one more. Again, nice rolls by me. This is, this is great. Well, he, he rolls a very great roll. He passes. I bring Sauron to war. And I move up. He plays King Brand. Perfect timing for that because he gets double card draw. I do Shadows Gather. I totally missed the Fellowship here. I say not good. It's actually, I don't know why I said that. That's actually good. I put Woodland Realm under Siege. To bring the elves to war. He moves the fellowship again. I finally hit him. I draw an eye. He takes the corruption. And I draw one. Uh, I say another toe issue for Gandhi. LOL. He says I really hate to, but yes. He loses Gandalf. Strider is the guide. I accidentally put my ring razor brought on the table like an idiot. I attack Dale from Woodland Realm. No, from North Ravinian. He has a shield wall. Uh, it's a good shield wall. I got. I would have gotten uh, two hits instead. I got one. He gets three back. I press, and he goes into Erebor. So if I looking at this now, I would not go for. Um, Erebor, but now I have too many troops up north. He brings Gandalf in, and I bring in the Witch King. All right, we move on to the next turn. I draw into all the guy in Lidless Eye. Lidless Eye is the worst card in the game. I roll this. He gets a lot of movement. Interestingly, he chooses to flip the fellowship with uh, the character. I put Nazgul on him. 
I think for a while. And I end up going after Carrick so they don't muster. No, I guess not. I don't know what I'm doing. I bring the Southrons and Easterlings down. No, they're totally to war. I attack Lord of the Run with a card with Onslaught. Why? Oh, it's Woodland Realm. Because I have so many extra troops is what I'm thinking. Okay, that makes sense. I end up getting the one hit for Heroic Death. Gets two back. I onslaught three. I got one. I don't press. Wins the Fellowship. They're safe. I attack Carrick. I get my hit. So they're taken care of. Who's the fellowship again? I'm their hit. It's a two. Pippin. He's probably going to Lorien, which he does. I play all the guy using the wrong card. Well, that was illegal. Good job, old self. All right. So again, I'm recognizing my illegal plays here. But again, like, just so everyone who was watching these videos are aware. Um. Mistakes are made in games. It happens. Uh, and as the players are trying their best to, to follow the rules, no one actively tries to cheat and say, what can I do to get an auto win? What can I sneak past my opponent that isn't in anyone's mind? And if it is, uh, get a new hobby. So, yeah. So that was a mistake. Uh, so he reinforces Lorien. And I start moving my uh, troops out. Okay. And he moves his troops out. He tries to throw a day and a night. I say brave. I attack Woodland Realm. I play Words of Power so I can cycle. And I get one. One hit. Gets one back. I'm going to press. I draw into Foul Thing from the Deep, which is great. And I get a lot of sixes there. He says, hey, hey, overkill. That elf must have been making funny faces over the wall. <laughs> and he doesn't get a hit back. So I'm at three. I'm going to turn four. I draw Corsairs. Perfect. Oh, I, I got Shadows at some point. I didn't even notice that. Oh, he moves the Fellowship. Declares them. Uh, that's not probably the role he wanted. I think he wanted an army action so he could do like through a day and a night or something. I say that what you wanted. He says not particularly. I'll work with it though. He does through a day and a night. And there goes victory points. All right. I play a foul thing and draw an eye. I said that was a foul thing from the deep. He said it was more a rather unpleasant thing from the deep. Hmm, pass. Now I condense my armies. I use voice. I think the better decision here... I don't know. Should I take care of that force in Dol Guldur? It's, it's huge. I move my north through into east room. And now he's, he's doing stuff up north, probably for Angmar. I uh, decide to put Erebor under siege to block them from coming out. I, he takes a while here. It says, time to debate on free people military victory or not. He says, give me a moment. And he's mustering up in north. I took Iron Hills to take him out. And now they're blocked. He moves a fellowship. And I miss. I use as an army to go on Erebor. And to Umbar. He moves the fellowship. Uh, and then I decide my last action to attack Erebor. What should I use here? 
Uh, Relentless Assault makes the most sense. Actually, no. Dread and Despair, Candle of Corpses I should play. Or Breaking of the Fellowship, actually. I should play Breaking. Let's see what I play. Good job. Plays Confusion. I end up getting one hit. He gets uh, two total. I thought I'd do one more round. Press and draw. Do no card. Ooh, I got two hits. That's nice. Ooh, he gets four hits. I should stop there. Yep. So he has four left. We'll go to the next round. I draw into the shadows moving and give it to us. And I get rid of give it to us. So this fellowship is okay. He has that beautiful role here. And now he's mustering up still in the north. I play Corsairs. I pass. He passes. Now I play Swarm of Bells. Shadow's moving. To get everyone in. He plays Faramir's Rangers and gets three! Holy crud! I say, damn. He says, Faramir the Avenger. Whoa. So I move my troops out more. I move my leadership on Dol Amroth and the Fellowship. I attack DA. No card. He has zero. I press. I'm thinking of a card. I don't think I should play one. I got one. I press again. I'm being risky. I got one more. He gets one back. Not good for me. He says he needs to play for a few minutes. So um, we take a little bit and we come back. All right. Uh, he says he's back. I don't know what to do here. I said, I know what I would do, but I'm not uh, I'm not you. He says, I have a couple of courses of action, but I'm struggling with my risk aversion here again. So yeah, I totally get it. There he goes up to Angmar. I play Shadows on the Misty Mountains to play it up in um, the north there. This is, oh boy, friends. I know. Uh, that's my first time I've ever used Shadow on the Misty Mountains up there, I say. Usually I do it in, in uh, Moria. Out of, out of curiosity, let's look at his force pool. He's got a lot of elites, so I was thinking I could always go after uh, Lorien. All right, let's see. Uh, he separates Strider. I do Rage into Moria. I say I don't think I'll win this time. He goes to Ed Morris. I attack DA. I think I'm trying to protect um, whatever it's called, that place in the north, Mount Gundabad. So I attack um, DA. I get my hit. So I have five points right now. I'm going to turn six. I draw into fighting Urukai. Cruel weather. Uh, he starts by... Moves the Fellowship to Gilead. No eyes. Hold on one sec. All right. Sorry, I just had to sneeze there. He didn't move last turn, so I don't put any eyes, but I roll three. All right. And he gets his other point up in Angmar. I move my troops to near Harad. He's probably going to go for the military victory here. Uh, what could I do here? 
If I get Erebor, Pilar Gear, and Lorien, that's 10. That's what I'm thinking, looks like. There he goes. Um, I think I should just keep attacking. But I'm being defensive. He attacks near Harad. Destroys them. And looks like I have condensed my army so I can retake Angmar possibly. Now he's at four. Say okay, what am I gonna do? Draw a strategy card. And he has a gigantic army in near Harad. And it looks like I'm gonna to attack Angmar with that force. He plays Valor, I play Dread and Despair. I have no reroll. Uh, he gets two. I'm going to press. No card. He does daylight. I get two. It's one. I press. He plays a shield wall. I get two, which is one. Ooh, and then he wins. That's all she wrote. Good game. That was my first where I said that was my worst shadow game ever. LOL. What could I have done differently? Um I could have tried to take Lorian out. That'd be too instead of, instead of being defensive, I could just be offensive. Because he wasn't mustering. So that'd be one, two, Lorian, three Erebor, four Pilar gear, and that would be that could be the game. But you never know. So, good game, Cavaliero. Uh, let's look at the stats. So that we can see. Okay, this is a long time ago. So again, uh, tell me what you would do differently if you're watching this. So, he was plus 3 on 6s, plus 8 on 5s. I was minus three on sixes, plus seven on fives. So this is a really good military game, uh, statistics to have. So uh, great game to Cavaliero. Uh, so we we finished one one, and my next opponent is is going to be Poo Daddy, uh, and it's actually one of my it's one of our third or fourth game together. So I look forward to sharing that with you uh, next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and thank you for joining me in this video. Take care, everyone. Bye.